Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Aaron Grant from Women's Basketball at the University of Memphis. And first of all, Coach, uh, came out on uh, Monday night, the NIT field. You knew you guys were in it, waited for the brackets to be released, and uh, you're going to host Tennessee Martin Thursday at the Elmer Field Fieldhouse. And first of all, it, it's great to be back in the postseason for the first time in a couple of years. It definitely is. I know the senior class is really excited about being back in the postseason. We haven't been in, since their freshman right. year. So it's really exciting time for us. We were anxiously awaiting the bracket, so we're on. It's been a really fun last month and a half of the season there. We talked to Melissa about this on one of her post games, kind of sitting around 500 there through December and early January, wondering if we were going to hit, you know, hit our stride and, and make a push for postseason. You beat USF, and then you go on to win uh, ten, eight of mm -hmm. your last 10 of the regular mm -hmm. season that last month and a half. Got on a hot streak, and this team's really playing well now going to the WNIT. We are playing well, and we have a lot of confidence. I'm glad that we're bringing the game back to our home court because we've done really, really well here this season. So it's an exciting time. All right, let's take a look at, at UT Martin. Uh, and they are they're, they're legit. 21-9, 14-2 in the OVC. Mm -hmm. And it's, you're not just bringing some team in here because it's going to be a win and you're going to advance. They've been mm -hmm. to the, the postseason, I believe, six straight years, five straight OVC titles whether it's regular season or a conference championship uh, in, in their tournament, uh, they're the real deal. This is not going to be just a, a rollover well, first tournament well, game. It, you're going to have to fight to win this game. We are going to have to be prepared to win this game. It is going to be a battle. We know that UT Martin is used to postseason play. They've had a lot of success, and they won the regular season, came up slightly short you know, in that first opener game in the conference tournament, but they're going to be prepared. They have a great basketball team that can space the floor and they can really shoot it. So we're going to have to defend. They are a guard-oriented ball club, one of the best. And when I say this, it's, 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 it's statistically proven. They yeah. are number two in the country, three-pointers made. Number two, three-pointers attempted. Uh, and there are a lot of other top tens scoring-wise. Could be a high-scoring game. Haley Howard averaging about 15 points a game. She's hit 68 threes. You look at Jesse Ward averaging over 13 points. 100 three-pointers on the season. This team... 317 three-pointers made. Not attempted, but made this year. Made. Yeah, I looked at the stat sheet and saw that they're averaging almost 11 threes made per game, and it's just amazing. They shoot such a high percentage, and we're going to have to run them off the three-point line. Not to give too much away on a scout or anything, but I would assume you just look at their rosters. They're kind of guard-oriented. Exactly. 6-0, I believe, is their, their biggest player. Yes. Uh, so I'd imagine you're going to try to exploit your inside game. We would hope so. Asia and Bree have done a great job for us on the inside finishing. So we hope to use our size advantage and also our speed and quickness advantage to get to the paint. On the other side of the bracket, and I know you guys are looking specifically at Tennessee market, but mm -hmm. the part doesn't matter if you don't win. Exactly. But you do see Western Kentucky and mm -hmm. Dayton. You see a Western Kentucky team that has a rich hair, uh, history there, multiple Final Fours in the 80s, and they have kept a, a tradition of winning up in Bowling Green. Then Dayton uh, out of the Atlantic 10, and you know that league's really good. Yes, uh, Dayton has been an NCAA team yeah. in the past, and we know that they're prepared for postseason always. Had a little bit of a down year, but always competitive. And Western Kentucky has some big wins this season, has always been competitive, and have a great coach in Michelle Hurd. So I'm expecting if we make it to the second round, which is our plans, that we're going to have another tough matchup. All right, well, sounds good. Coach, have to get that first, and we'll do it Thursday night at the Fieldhouse. Sounds good. That is Aaron Grant with Women's Basketball. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.